A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the western United States, a man's life often depended on the quickness of his draw. And even after the forces of law and order were established on the frontier, many of the early settlers preferred gun law to the primitive courts. It was the masked rider of the plains who made them realize that violence and justice could not exist together. It was he, more than any other man, who brought peace and security to the frontier and made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the pass come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the range country! It's going to be a trouble! Hello, Silver! Hooray! Gus Ziegler, owner of the cafe in Canfield, was a huge man with a great shock of hair and small, close-set eyes in a fleshy face. On the evening our story opens, he was standing at one end of his crowded bar, watching the shouting, laughing, free-spending customers. But suddenly, three shots rang out. The shouts and laughter were silenced. The gaze of everyone swung to the cafe's entrance. There stood four hooded men. At a word from their leader, they spread out, keeping their weapons leveled on the crowd. Keep them covered, boys. Any man draws, let him have it. This ain't a hold-up, gents. Nobody will get hurt that minds his own business. Keep your hands from your irons and back away from that bar there. Not you, Gus. You stand just where you are. If there's any hold-up, what is it? You'll find that out pronto. Step this way and keep your hands raised. Who are you? Who are your pards? Who we are don't concern you. But I want to know who... Just call us friends of four fellas you framed once. Four fellas you had sent to jail on a trumped-up lion charge of murder. That'll be good enough. Uh, what are you talking about? Forget already? Well, it's been a couple years. Maybe I ought to freshen up your memory some. Recollect Pete Sibley? What? Bill Kindred? Judd Wayne? Todd Lane? Recollect them? It's a lie. I never framed them. It ain't so. They had a fair trial. Shut up. No, you gotta listen. Ask anybody if it wasn't guilty. Ask Nate Bender. He jailed them. Or ask Judge Powers. It was him that gave them their trial. Anybody to tell you it was all fair and square. We know our friends weren't guilty, Gus. And as for Nate and the judge and Hawk Marlin, the lion killer you had to testify again, our friends, they'll all be getting theirs, too. Now, wait. You just happen to be the first one on our list. All right, start walking. Out the front way. And the first yell out of you, you're stopping lead. No, please. On your way. Come on, boys. Back out. I'll watch this poor cat. The rest of you gents stay here. Don't follow or try to get Gus back. Just keep out of what don't concern you. Quick, fellas. 
can't lead the way. We ain't been seen yet. Let me go, fellas. I'll pay you. I'll... Keep your mouth shut and climb on that horse. Get moving. Oh, but get I'll... leather. You won't get away with this. Oh, yeah, get... get him up, Skull. Come on, Skull. Okay, come on, Skull. Come on, Skull. Come on, Skull. Follow us. Get up. Get up there. Why, it's a masked man with a red skin. Take and go. Shoot your fool. Shoot him down. Come on, fool. Fire away. Fire away. Fire away. We roused the whole town. We've got to get out of here. Blast it. We missed them. It can't be helped. we got to ride or we'll be caught. Back to camp. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. What happened? These four fellas was ordered. What's the hold up? Who was the mask hombre? I seen it all, fellas. Seen every bit of it. Those four hooded gents took Gus from the cafe. Then the mask hombre and the engine came from nowhere and snatched Gus away again. What? But what I can't figure out is what the whole thing's about. <laughs> Four men who had entered the cafe and seized Gus Ziegler, only to have him rescued by the Lone Ranger, headed straight for their hideout, several miles to the north of town. There they reined in. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, oh, boy. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah, better take the horses and pick them where they can graze. File the saddles over again, that's free. Right. Come along, you critters. Come on, then. Bill, I'd give plenty to know who that masked fellow in the engine was and why they butted into our play. You got any ideas? Judd... That's what we've got to try and find out. You ever see that pair before, Pete? Not to recollect. And yet, hmm? uh, well, I don't know. There was something about them, seemed to me, I should have placed. I can't seem to do it, though. Looked to me like they'd planted themselves right there, waiting for us to come out of the cafe, which same means they knew beforehand what we was planning. And I'd have swore we'd come here without anybody knowing it. Yeah, that would look funny to me. So we missed out on our very first try. Well, we can wait. We got time. We got plenty of time. The next try, we won't miss. You made one bad mistake back there at the cafe, though, Bill. Yeah? What? You named the four we were out to get. Everybody in the cafe heard you. They'll bust their necks giving them skunks warning. Which is just why I done it. Huh? Now they'll know we're after them. And they can spend some time worrying about it. That just suits me fine. But what if they clear out? They won't. Just the same, Listen Bill. here. Gus won't clear out because everything he owns is right back there in Canfield. Yeah, that's so. Hawk Marlin won't because this is just about the only part of the country where he ain't wanted by the law. Besides the fact it's drawing good wages from Gus. He's the one that's going to be hard to handle. He's lightning with a six-shooter. Nate Bender's sheriff and old man Powers is judge. So there ain't no danger of them leaving. But all the time they'll know we're somewhere around. They know that sooner or later we're going to strike. And between now and then... They're going to spend plenty of sleepless nights. The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Gus Ziegler had ridden south from Canfield. But once outside of town, they circled and finally stopped at a small, well-concealed camp within a mile of that occupied by the four partners. Ziegler was grateful for his rescue, but puzzled. Look here, stranger. I appreciate what you've done. If it had been for you and the Redskin, them hooded gents would have got me. But why can't I go back to town now? What do you hold me for? You're going to give Tonto and me the details of this affair. Ah, what do you mean? We've learned by accident those men intended taking you prisoner. While we waited outside the cafe, we heard the names of three other men mentioned. Judge Powers, Nate Bender, and Hawk Marlin. Now I want to know why all of you have been marked for revenge. Why? Talk. Sure I'll talk. I ain't got nothing to hide. You heard them mention some other names, too, didn't you? Bill Kindred, Pete Sibley, and the others? They're the ones. Well, it just so happens they're killers. And not killers alone, but thieves in the bargain. Go on. Two years ago, they held up my place after it was closed one night. I had quite a lot of stuff from a strong box that time. Cash from punches that had been paid off and wanted a safe place to leave it. Gold dust from miners in from the hills. They stole that cash and dust? Stole it and killed a swamper working for me that slept in the cafe nights. He must have tried to fight him off so they let him have it. Then it wasn't you that lost. It was the cowboys and the miners who left their valuables with you for safekeeping. Like blazes, I didn't lose nothing. I had 5,000 of my own in that cafe. I see. But you still haven't explained why the sheriff and the judge and Marlin come into this. Well, Hawk Marlin heard the shots that killed the swamper. Then seen them fellas when they made their getaway. It was his testimony that convicted them. From the sheriff and the judge? Well, I don't know. Lesson was cause the sheriff jailed them and the judge sentenced them. But what part did you play in all this? They seem to blame you most of all. That's because of the lion story they told in court. Yes? They tried to make the judge think I'd hired Hawk to rob my own safe. 
They told the judge Hawk claimed to see them escaping because he'd seen them ride from town just about the time the whole thing happened and knew their ride in the wake had been made to look as though they were guilty. But nevertheless, they were convicted, eh? Yeah, but all they got was ten years apiece. That was on account of the fact Hawk was the only real witness against them. Ten years. You know what that means, Gus? Hmm? That means they might have been able to get a pardon. And if they did... Then, then maybe it's them that grabbed me tonight. Them fellas wearing hoods claimed to be friends of theirs. But there was four fellas sentenced for that killing, and there was four in the gang that wore hoods. Stranger, I'll bet that's it. I'll bet they're one and the same. I'm almost certain they are. You got reason for saying that? Tonto found their camp late this afternoon. The four men sent to jail were Bill Kindred, Judd Wayne, Todd Lang, and Pete Sibley. These fellas in camp addressed each other as Todd and Judd and Bill and Pete. Then you know where they're hid. Well, we can tell Nate Bender and have him picked up. No. But why I'll not? I'll settle this in my own way, Gus. And until I choose, no one but Tato and I will know where they're camped. Well, that ain't right. They're convicted killers. On top of that, tonight they're just the same as said they was going to kill some more. They shouldn't be allowed to be loose. You heard me. I said I'd handle this. We won't argue. You sound like you was on their side. But I'd have taken you from them if I were. And if it were true, I'd have known the full story. It wouldn't have been necessary for me to ask you about it. I still say you're making a mistake. We'll know more about that later. For the present, you're free to return to town. Now? Right. Uh, Stranger, I can't make you tell where them skunks are hiding out. Ah, who's still there? (laughs) Well, on the other hand, I got the right to tell Nate Bender you know where the camp is. He's a lawyer, you know. And if he asks you, you'll have to answer. But before he can question us, he'll have to find us. And he likely will. Adios. Get up there. Get up. Think. I think we'd better change our camp before it's found. Gus will be bringing the sheriff back with him. Uh, well, this talk with Gus has given me some other ideas, Kimosabe. What then? There's one thing in particular this fellow's story didn't explain. He said the men sent to jail were after him because they claimed he and his Hawk Marlin were behind the robbery and killing. Mm-hmm. But if they lied, then Gus wasn't behind it. And they'd have no reason to revenge themselves on him. Not right. I've just been guessing, Tata. But now we're going to find out how near the truth those guesses came. The following evening, a conference took place in the back room of Ziegler's Cafe. Hawk Marlin faced his employer across a small table. A bottle and glasses stood between them. Better lay off the liquor, Hawk. I need it. What for? To get your nerve up? I got as much nerve as you have. But mine don't need as much fortifying. Eh, this bottle's empty. Well, leave it that way. We got to figure what we're going to do. Well, what are we going to do? Whatever it is, it's got to be blamed soon. Every time I ride out of town, I wonder if maybe them fellas ain't somewhere as near to grab me off. Every time I think of spending the night alone in my place... I wonder if maybe they won't show up before the night's over. That don't sound like you got so much nerve. I'll face anybody given an even break. But how can you fight fellas when you don't know where they're at? The sheriff would like to locate them. Well, he ain't so far. Because the masked man and the engine moved their camp. But he'll run onto them sooner or later. And when he does, they'll have to tell where Kindred and his pards are hanging out. And that may be a month from now. The sheriff's a good man on the trail. I want another drink. Then doggone it, get one and shut up about it. Call down the hall to the bartender. He'll hear you. Yeah. Tell him to send down a full bottle. Hey, Buck! That's right, just shut up. What are you? Come on, fellas. Who is it, Buck? Just us, Gus. Bill Kendrick. <laughs> sure. And my parts. You recollect Todd and Pete and Judd here, don't you? How'd you get in? The back way. You... It was you that wore them hoods last night. Uh huh. But tonight we didn't. Ain't no need. We already picked up the judge and the sheriff. Now all we want is just you and Hawk here. And this time the masked man ain't on hand to save you. I'll kill the The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes... Please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Although Bill Kindred and his companions were not aware of it, the Lone Ranger had seen them enter the cafe by the back way. Leaping to the saddle, the masked man urged Silver forward and raced out of town toward the place where Tonto waited for him. As he drew near, he shouted, Kimo Sabe! What matter? Come on! We're riding! Get him up, Strong! Get him up! Where we go? Bill Kindred and the others have already captured Judge Powers and Sheriff Bender. Oh! And they just now captured Ziegler and Hulk Marlin. That good. You know the way to the camp, Tonto. Right ahead. We're going to get to the bottom of this affair right now. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Come on, old fellow. Hurry, boy. Hello, Silver. Hello, With Tonto pointing out the trail, he and the Lone Ranger swept across country on their powerful stallions, heading for the hideout of the four men. At last, bursting through a thicket of underbrush, they came upon a clearing. Two securely bound figures were dimly visible. Oh, oh, there's Hold it down. 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 Hold it you ain't the same fellas at all. Judge, this is a masked man and a redskin. Who are you? That doesn't matter. Tell to untie the hand. Uh, wait. I know who you are now. You're the masked man an engine Gus told me about. It was you fellas I was looking for today. Right. But if you ain't on the side of Bill Kindred and Lang and the others, why didn't you come and tell me where they was hit out? For reasons of my own, Sheriff. The hand's free, Tanner. Ah, uh, them free now. Untie their feet. Ah. Uh, we'd better hurry if they come back soon. You're not going anywhere, Judge. You're being untied to make you comfortable for a few minutes. But you're remaining right here. What? Just what I thought. You are on their side. You are a crook just like them. I'm not. Yes, you both that... better stand up. It'll help restore your circulation. Stranger, you don't know what you're getting into. Siding with killers makes you just as bad as they are. Walk around a bit. That'll help. Bless you, I'm telling you something. You listen to what I say. Everybody concerned, and this will pay for it just as sure as shooting. And that means you and the engine, too. Not so fast. Now, don't try you to... You decided that Tyler and I are helping the men who captured you. That isn't the truth. At least, not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? We're not helping them get revenge on innocent men. I'm convinced the part you and the sheriff played in the arrest and trial of those men two years ago was honest. What are you getting at? Answer a question for me first. How well did you know those fellows before the robbery of the cafe? I didn't know them at all. I thought I did, but it was proved I didn't. How about Ziegler? What had his reputation been? Well... His reputation was shady, stranger. I see what you're getting at. You're thinking of the accusation made at the trial that he and Hawk had framed the defendants. I can assure you, however, they got a fair trial. I believe you tried to give them a fair trial. It was, sir. Insofar as you were acquainted with the facts. Nevertheless, from what you and the sheriff have told me, it's clear that before the robbery and killing... Anyone forced to make a choice would have expected Gus Ziegler and Hawk Marlin to turn outlaw before Kindred and his friends. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Stranger, you sound as though you think them innocent. I think they are, but I don't know that they are. I don't oh, one quite... moment. Before the night's out, we're going to know who's guilty and who isn't. We know that already. Quiet. If Kindred, Lang, Sibley, and Wayne are proved innocent, there's one thing I wish both of you to remember. Yes? If they're innocent, they knew at the time of the trial that the evidence against them was false. To them, it must have seemed that anyone else should have seen its falsity also. What about it? Just this. In that case, they must have thought you and Judge Powers parties to the frame-up. In their own minds, they'd have felt themselves justified in getting revenge. You were just talking about what don't enter into this. They're guilty as blazes, and that's all there is to it. If the evidence against them had been conclusive, they wouldn't have received the short jail sentences they got. They would have been hung. And they should have been. Have you got the courage to prove your opinion beyond all possibility of a doubt? Huh? I came here directly from town. I left town just as Kindred made Gus and Hawk prisoners. They'll be returning here to camp before very long. Then let me and the judge clear out, and maybe we'll forget the part you played in this. If you have the courage, you'll remain. To be murdered by those fellows? Not to be killed, Judge Powers. Only to appear to be. I'll tell you what I mean. <laughs> Ziegler and Hawk had been forced to accompany their captors by a roundabout way out of town, then in the direction of the hideout. As they neared the camp, none of the party suspected that the Lone Ranger and Tonto had not only preceded them there, 
but we're waiting for them. What are you fellas figuring on doing with us, anyhow? Don't ask a dog on many questions. You'll be finding out soon enough. Plenty soon. You're going to drill us. I know blame well you are. Any good reason why we shouldn't? Didn't you, that no good boss of yours here, try to get us hung? Gus, you got to make him let us go. you got to do something. You think I like this any better than you do, Hawk? But you got cash. You could buy us off. I don't want to die. Got your dog gone. Both right. of you shut up. Come on, cut to the right here. We're almost to camp. Come on, boy. Get along there. Watch out for the slope. Whereabouts you got the judge and the sheriff? In camp and hog tie. And waiting for you to join them. There's a camp that's clearing ahead. Look, fellas, I tell you that I... Gus, you run off at the mouth too much. You ain't talking your way out of this. So shut up before we gag you. And here we are. Rain up. Oh, 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 oh. Climb down. All right. That goes for you too, Hawk. Leave that saddle. <laughs> Whose horse was that I just heard? Mine. What in blazes? It's a mask man. I've been waiting for you. Where'd you come from? How'd you get here? Mister, throw up your hands or I'll watch. Say, look. Draw. Now then, if you're looking for trouble, slap leather. If you're not, keep your hands clear of your holsters. Mister, what's your game? I'll bet he's let the judge and the sheriff loose. I haven't. If you look across the clearing, you'll see them just as you left them. Still tied. Then what are you... You see, I'm masked. Yeah, and you're the same masked fella that butted in our affairs once before. We'll not discuss that. But I want to... The fact remains that I've been here for almost 30 minutes. And yet Judge Powers and Sheriff Bender are still here in your camp. Still your prisoners. You mean you could have let them go but didn't choose to? Right. Why? Perhaps because of my mask. I don't savvy. Might be that I have as much reason for wanting them punished as you. I get it. They done something to you, too. Not letting them loose was your way of getting even. Perhaps. Does that mean you want to throw in with us? We'll talk about that later. In the meantime, what do you plan to do? What can we do? You got the drop on us. I'll prove I'm your friend. I'll holster my guns. There. Stranger, I can't make you out. First, you take Gus away from us when we as good as had him last night. That made it look as though you and your redskin pod were siding him. But now you've switched around again. What I aim to know is what first. I know more about the situation now than I did then. Go ahead. You're in control here now. You have the four men you wish to capture. Finish your plans. Gus, Bill, you got to listen to me Keep your cap closed and walk ahead of me. You too, Hawk. Walk over where the judge and sheriff are. Come along, stranger. You said for us to finish our business with these gents. Well, that's just what we're going to do. Well, Gus, I see you're in the same fix they got me and the judge here. If you'd know your business... It'd have been them was caught instead of us. Well, you can't always figure to come out on top, you know. I don't suppose there's any use our asking again for our lives. There ain't. Judge, listen to me. Well? Two years ago, me and Pete and Todd and Judd here stood in your court on trial for murder. And were found guilty. I could have pronounced sentence of death. The same sentence that's obvious you've already decided upon for us. But I didn't. I give you the shortest jail terms in my power. Short? Ten years? You only served two. Because we had friends that got the governor to pardon us. But if you think even two years behind bars is a short time to serve for something you didn't do, then you ain't only crooked, you're local. Crooked? Anybody would have had to be crooked that couldn't see we was framed. Framed? Uh, catch a crook and the first thing he hollers is that somebody else done it. If the law listened to every crook that claimed to be innocent, we wouldn't need jails. They'd all go free. Yeah? Well, me and my friends here had a long time to think over what we was going to do when we got out. Two years ago, you had us where you wanted us. This time, it's the other way around. So we see. And before we finish it, we hanker after just one thing. What? To hear you admit we was framed. What good would that do you, even if it was true? We just want the satisfaction of hearing you admit what dirty, lying coyotes you are. Then you're looking for a satisfaction you ain't likely to get. Just start talking. Admit you had Hawk break into your own cafe that night. Admit it was him killed that swamper on your orders. That's a lie. You can't make either one of us admit any such thing. Maybe we should work you over, son. Let me have him, Bill. I'll make him talk. You hear that, Gus? My pa's here with Plum and Joy having a chance at you. Which is it going to be? Are you going to talk willing, or do we have to use a little persuasion first? You're just trying to trick us. You figure we'll confess to what we never done in order to save our lives. Then you can make the sheriff arrest us. You're wrong, Hawk. You're going to confess, but confess ain't going to save your lives. You ain't going free again on any account. Judge, Sheriff, tell them what'll happen to them if they drill us. Show them they can't get away with it. We ain't worrying about what'll happen afterwards. 
Whatever it is, seeing you pull cats paid off will be worth it. We can't. Watch out. Watch Don't out. run for us. They work free from their ropes. After they're heading for the brush. Stand aside. I... I'll take care of them. You hit the judge. And you got the sheriff, too. Good enough for him. Stranger, there was real shooting. Tabo, uh, take a look at them. Uh, do it. You're the worst killer of the lot. Yes? You never even give them a chance. Maybe not. Now you see, we mean business. You heard these men ask for a confession. Start talking. Well, I'll... Right. Well? Um, I'm gone. Done for, huh? Uh. All right, Hawk. Stranger, give me a chance. Don't do to me like you done to them. Give me a fighting chance for it, and I'll do all the talking you want. Last you, Hawk. Shut up. What's the use of keeping shut now? These fellas know it was you and me that planned that hold up. The only fellas didn't know it was the judge and the sheriff. And now, don't matter what's said, they can't hear us. You, you mean the judge and Sheriff Bender weren't in on it with you? Of course they weren't. And I was in it only because Gus made me. He said if I didn't do like he said, he'd turn evidence he had on me for other things. Over to the law. You rotten double-crosser, that ain't so. You come in on it just for the cash you got out of it. And nothing else. You know very well you're right. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, the sheriff. But the masked man filled him. He didn't shoot either one of us. What? We fixed it up beforehand, Bill. I loosened their ropes so they could break free whenever they wished. When they made the break for it, I shot over their heads. And they fell. And Tyler made Hawk and Gus believe they were dead. We knew these fellas would never incriminate themselves in front of the law. But they started talking the moment they thought it wouldn't matter. You, you tricked us after all. You raise oh. your hands before I let you have it. Sheriff, Judge Powers, we, we were so doggone sure you fellas was in on the deal with Gus and Hawk. Best man explained that to us, Bill. Knowing you were innocent, it was hard for you to believe that we couldn't see it also. That's just the way it was. Well, in exchange for getting at the truth here tonight, I believe the sheriff and I can forget what you had planned for us. And you have our words, Gus and Hawk will pay for what they've done. Hey! There goes the masked man and the redskin. Stranger, come back here. Oh, Get up, let's go. Wait, they're gone. But they're the gents to thank for all that's happened here. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger, Incorporated.